there are certain things on Linux that I don't have to do very often, but I still occasionally have to do that I forget how to do. Things like adding myself to a group, things like enabling SSH auto authentication, things like that. Things that are rare for me to have to do that I just never remember how I'm supposed to do those things. Now, I've been using Linux for over six years now full time, and I constantly have to look things up that I should by all means know by now but I don't have that type of memory unfortunately now the other day on the podcast Drew said something that just made me think duh like he told me about how he keeps documentation for a lot of the things that he has to do and then uploads those things to github and I was like why didn't I think of that like I always have so here's another example just the other day I had to reset up cron on my machine because I did an open reinstall and I had to reset up all my cron jobs. And one of the things that you have to do is kind of make sure that your cron is in the proper path. And I always have to go basically find the article that tells you how to do that and copy the text that you put in the cron file and, and you know, all this stuff, right? And I never remember how to do that. So when he talked about, you know, having his own documentation, I was like, that's a brilliant idea. So over the course of the last week or so, I've gone through and basically created my own GitHub repository, in this case GitLab, I should say. And basically what that repository is, is a repository of markdown documents where I basically tell myself how to do the things that I don't always have to do. Things like the stuff that I've mentioned. So what I want to do today is kind of talk about the merits of this just a little bit. We'll do a little bit of a ramble because I always ramble. And you guys can kind of see what I've done so far. So let me actually take you right to my GitLab repository called documentation. Now this is my documentation repository and as you can see I've just basically I'm trying to be as as organized as possible so I have things for regular applications, things for backups, things for the stuff I have to do with bash, uh, things like I have to do with like general Linux knowledge like here's the adding a user to, to a sudoers, right? I always forget how to add a user to a sudoers file. And I know it has something to do with Vicedudo, but there's, you know, steps that I have to do. And then, and then there's this thing here that I have to remember, you know, that's what's supposed to go in the file and, and, and so on and so forth, right? So that is, you know, one of the examples that I have, right? And, and this was the cron thing that I had to do that I talked about, right? And, you know, it's just things like this that I've put in here to kind of remind myself how to do stuff. But also when I, I've obviously forgotten how to do something, I don't have to get on the Google and go find the stuff, you know, find the tutorials on how to do this stuff. I already know exactly where the tutorial is. I've written it down. So things like stuff that I've done with Home Lab. So if I want, if I'm, you know, setting up my portainer, I need to remember how to set up portainer. This is how I set up the portainer that I've done, right? And if I want to know the apps that I have installed or that I host, self host, I have a list of those too. So if my portainer ever goes down, or the VM that I host Portainer on goes down, I lose all the data, I can at least know what applications I have or had installed and I can then, you know, reinstall those, right? Another thing that I did was completely steal the install documentation from Drew on Docker, on Debian, right? I don't use Debian very often, so I didn't really know how to install Docker the proper way, so I completely yoinked this directly from Drew's GitHub that he does, and I actually did link to a source, so I just want to make sure that I'm giving proper credit if I need to, right? Th things like updating Portainer, if I if I need to do update Portainer, I have all that stuff here. All of these examples, right, that I have of stuff that I, you know, might need to do again someday, like set up Nginx or something like that. I have now a whole document on how to set up Nginx if I need to do that through Portainer or through Docker Compose. I can do either of those. I have it written down. I don't have to go seek out the documentation which is oftentimes confusing. And another benefit of doing this is that I can write it in my own way, right? A lot of times when you seek out documentation, especially technical documentation, it is, well, you know, it's technical and it's not necessarily written for you. So basically for me, by doing it this way, I can write it in a way that I know I'm going to be able to understand, right? I'm going to be able to say, I know what I'm doing here because not only you know, is this the way that it's done? But also I wrote it in such a way that, you know, my pea-sized brain can actually understand. So I think that that's a really big benefit of this, that it's kind of written 
in a way that I'm going to, you know, remember. Also, by writing something down and, you know, going through the process of creating your, basically, your own tutorial or your own documentation, you are more likely to remember. So, like, I, I will probably be more likely to remember how to add a user to a group or any of these things, right? And, and I can, you know, that will kind of spur into my memory a little bit so that it might stick with me a little bit longer, which is a good thing overall, right? So I think this is a brilliant idea. And like I said, I'm, I can't believe that I didn't think of it myself. I didn't. Drew, Drew gets all the credit here. But I've heard from several people since we talked about it on the podcast who also do very similar things to this, where they basically keep their own Linux documentation. And I think that this is something that quite a few people do, but I wanted to share it with you guys simply because I think that this is such a fantastic idea that it can't go unnoticed by the vast majority of people. You guys definitely should try to do this if you're someone who tends to forget how to do things. Write it down somewhere. It doesn't have to be a Git repository. It doesn't have to be anything fancy on your computer because you might lose that. Grab yourself a notebook. Create a notebook of how to do the things that you know you have to do and keep it somewhere where you can get to it should you need to reset your system up that you know and you have a kind of a, a manifesto of how you set things up and how to do things that you might not remember how to do I, I think that this is something that a lot of people should definitely do and it would be I mean it would be cool I mean I've thought about this like it'd be cool to kind of like open this repository up or another repository where it's kind of like a, a community documentation where we all try to get together and create a community documentation for Linux but I think that Personal documentation is actually better in a lot of ways, simply because, first off, we all don't need to know how to do X and X and X, whatever, right? We, we don't need to all know the exact same things. We all use Linux in a slightly different way. By having documentation to be tailored to how we use applications, how we use Linux, it's a much better experience overall. And I think that because this is a personal thing, it's something that's just I'm doing, and, and if you do this, it'll be just something that you do it's more likely that you'll not only keep up creating that documentation, but also that you'll use it. Like if you, you know, you'll go straight seek out something that you wrote a year ago on how to do something than if it was written by someone else, because you have knowledge of it. Like I have knowledge of everything that's in this repository because I created it all. Whereas if we created like a gigantic repository for everyone to contribute to, we wouldn't all know what's all there, right? It would be something that we'd have to search for. Like I don't have to search for anything here because I know exactly how it's organized. I know exactly where I put things when I, you know, left them. I, I know all this stuff, and it's for me. And I think that that's one of the things where having a more personal documentation instead of a wiki for everyone makes a hell of a lot of sense. So not a lot of meat to this video, but I think that this is one of those things where it's just going to change the way that I use my system. Not necessarily in a grand way, but already just in a week of doing this or in, in uh, you know, a few days of doing this, I've noticed that when I don't know how to do something, I will automatically, I'll go look it up, but I'll also open up a terminal with this repository open and I'll create a document that will follow me through as I do that thing. And I've gotten to the habit of it now and it kind of makes me feel accomplished. It's really nice. So overall, I think that this is something that if you haven't already, you should definitely consider doing. If, Especially if you tend to do things that are you know, not even really all that complicated that you just, especially if you're in a situation where you have to do kind of stuff every once in a while, that's not always, you know, something that's at the front of your mind, this will help you remember. And you don't have to write down everything, but the big things, you know, would be nice to do. Also, I noticed that my camera now is really, really blurry. Either that or my glasses are blurry. That was really weird. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there. Autofocus apparently is on, and it's not supposed to be, but that's beside the point. Anyways, so that's it for this video. If you have any thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. That's all of these fine people. I should center the camera just a little bit differently so there's actually room for the people, you know, on the side because, you know, it looks a little bit better, but... I'm not a professional. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everybody who does support me there. I truly really do appreciate it. If you want to support me as well, you can do so by following me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can also support me by going to Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast or heading on over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find awesome merch that you can buy. 
and uh, that will again support the channel directly so thank you very much for everybody who's done that who's supporting me on patreon youtube and kofi all that stuff thank you to the supporters thanks you for watching i'll see you next time